Hey everybody, today we're going to take a look at this, the CeraVape Cerebus tank, right here on My Vaping Place. Hey everybody, Joe here. Um, look, this is important. Uh, this is not part of the review you're about to watch, okay? This is something totally different. Look, everything I'm about to discuss here in this review is going to be a totally moot point if you do not get on to your congressional representative and both of your senators and tell them that you want them to support not only H.R. 2058, but also the Cole Bishop Agricultural Bill Amendment. Both of them, both of them are important. The reason for that being the Cole Bishop Amendment now immediately, because it's got so much traction right now, will turn around and will change the grandfather date for the FDA, forcing them to accept everything that has come between February 15, 2007 and August 8th. They will have no choice in the matter. They will have to accept them, okay? If they don't, then those devices, mods, everything, right out the window, okay? The problem with it is, is that that bill comes up for a reauthorization in two years, okay? That two years, at that point, that section of the bill may very well be cut. And if it's cut, we're right back to the 2007 date. But for those two years, we will have the option of being able to lobby Congress to get it fully, permanently changed in such a way that they will not be able to get us in another two years. Okay, that's where H.R. 2058 comes in. This is going to be a multi-step deal that we're looking at here. Cole Bishop changes it now before the FDA can enact and enforce their regulations. Two, H.R. 2058 totally permanently changes it to a place where they will not be able to kill us in two years. From that point on, then we can turn around and go out and get ourselves a piece of legislation to force the FDA to take vaping out from underneath of tobacco where it does not belong and put it into its own category with its own laws, its own regulations, and totally out from under the gun of tobacco. Okay? Got it now? Cool. Now from this point on it's up to you email phone show up on their doorstep make yourself a pain in the ass make them know who you are but be nice about it bring them coffee bring them a bagel bring them a roll whatever it is but bring them something and make them th listen to you tell them how vaping saved your life, how vaping has made you a healthier, happier, more productive, and more financially sound person. Okay? Remember, you, you are the one who will help to save vaping. Not me, not everybody else, you. So get out there and do it, Bucky. Otherwise, you ain't going to be able to get all the stuff that you need. Okay? Enough said. Hey, everybody. Joe here. Nice of you to join me today. Thanks for coming. Um, what we're going to be taking a look at today is this, the new CeraVape Cerebus tank. It is a fully ceramic tank from Cera the good folks over at CeraVape. Now, I did receive this tank free for the purpose of review, uh, but that in no way uh, affects my judgment on this tank 
or anything that I'm about to say about this tank. So um, I'm going to do this pretty much the same way that a normal review would be done, but a little bit differently. Um, I will be going down to the build deck and we will be taking a look at it. And then we're going to come back up here and I'm going to give you my thoughts about this. Basically, my I'm going to be ins inserting a couple of pictures here, a couple of snap pictures that I've taken during the during the review process while I was actually taking a look at this tank and going over it and playing with it and everything else. Um, the build deck portion of this video is basically going to be just an introduction showing you exactly what you get in the package, uh, how it comes, etc., etc., ad nauseum. The meat of this is going to be when we come back here, back above decks, and we take a look at, sit down and start discussing it. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get down below deck and take a look at this thing and see what you get in the package the way it comes from CeraVe. All right, I'll meet you downstairs. Okay, here we are down on the build deck. Uh, we're going to be taking a look today at the CeraVe Cerebus or Cerabus, depending upon how you want to pronounce it, tank. This is a ceramic coil tank. This is the way it comes out of the packaging from CeraVape. Uh, it has this sleeve that's on here to protect the clamshell and to hold everything all together. All right. Uh, this is the way it presents to you. It has some of uh, their advertising on here. Well, you can't blame them for wanting to advertise. They're, they're proud of their product. So... They're going to try and put their best foot forward and uh, to get you, like any good manufacturer would, to buy their tank. So this is what's on here. Okay, so let's take a look. This is one side. This is the other side. Just CeraVape on here. Cerebus on here. On this side, you have the usual scratch and check. I didn't scratch and check this because I know that this came directly from CeraVape, so I don't got to do it. All right. Also, please excuse the tape. I put uh, this on here to ensure that this thing doesn't come flying apart on me while I'm moving this thing around here for the videotaping. On the back, you have the a little bit more advertising with the usual CV CE type of uh, marks on here, not for use by pregnant, P women under 18, don't bin it, CE, recyclable, all that good stuff, right? I'm just going to leave this here for a second so you can actually see what it looks like. Okay. You'll have to ex also excuse me because they're setting up for a carnival or something like that in the lot across the street here so and being that this is a Saturday morning it's a little bit of a noisy environment around here so all right let's take a look and see what we get inside of the packaging here now in the packaging you get a extra 0.5 ohm coil it doesn't have any markings on here as to what its suggested wattage is it's 0.4 to 0.5 ohms. You have the tank itself. I don't like this drip tip. I don't like this drip tip at all. It is not only too big for my mouth, but it's also made of some kind of aluminum alloy or something like that. And it just not only does it not taste right, when you have it in your mouth, but it's also way too big. Some people might like it if you want to go for clouds, you know, but what can I tell you? Okay, let's take a look underneath of the packaging here. You have the usual spare goodie parts with O-rings. That white piece that you see in there is a spare insulator for the 510 center pin. You also see these little silicon caps in here. 
Now, these are not provided by CeraVe just for beauty purposes. They actually do serve a rather important function, which I'll be getting into when we get back up to the discussion part of this video. Okay, so there you go, O-rings. You also have the manual, if I can get it out of here. Now, this manual goes rather into depth. It gives, tells you about all the different parts, packaging contents, how to fill it, juice flow control, how it works, product specifications. This is a 4 mil capacity tank. The coil resistances available are 0.8 to 0.9 Canthal, 30 to 60 watts, 0.4 to 0.5, <clears throat> excuse me, ohm Canthal, 30 to 80 watts. Product features, full product dimensions here. How to replace the ceramic coil, self-cleaning, how to clean this. That's really an important part because these coils will last a really long time if you take good care of them and you follow the directions that are in here. Now these directions are actually pretty damn well written compared to some Chinese instructions that I get which I almost dread trying to interpret. They actually seem to have had somebody go over this manual who is a native English speaker and make the corrections so that way you wouldn't have to sit there and try and decode what they were trying to get across. So big kudos to CeraVe for this. Okay, so that's pretty much what comes in the packaging here. Uh, I'm going to put all of this stuff back in here now. And since this is not going to be your normal build cam time here, and this is just basically an introduction to the tank, uh, we're going to go back topside and take a look at this and discuss this a little bit more in depth and get into some of the pros and cons that I found with this tank. I really like this tank. I just wish I could like it more. It's a really decent tank. It it worked well. We'll get into that when we get up to FaceTime. All right. So without further ado, let's head back topside and we'll talk about this some more. Meet you up there. Hey everybody, I'm glad you were able to make it topside without banging your head into the overhead too much. No, you're not seeing things. Um, you are seeing a new mic in here and you're seeing a new camera angle and everything else. Um, I had recorded the final discussion that we're having here right now back last week and I was just way too tired to finish doing the editing and everything else and then my intervening work week um, well intervened and uh, I got to look back at it this afternoon while I was sitting here doing some editing and stuff like that and I was like uh, no mm -mm. no we can't do this this is not right this doesn't sound right this just doesn't work right so here we are um, a week later and I'm re-recording this final section now let me give you a little bit of history since you didn't hear the other piece <laughs> um, I have been in talks with CeraVapes about this tank since I think it's like the first or second of January when they first announced this tank um, some people that were there obviously hadn't dealt with me before excuse me about that um, but Bonnie over there at CeraVape hi Bonnie how you doing um, and I had had a lot of talks and stuff like that she knew my work and she knew that everything that I said about the previous um, products that I had reviewed of theirs was spot on the money um, maybe not by their engineers or by their bosses uh, but 
they knew that there were some things that needed to be changed and made a little bit better. Okay? Excuse me a second. Mm, yeah, that's a good juice. We'll be talking more about that juice and its companions in sometime during the next week. Um, I'll be putting up my first commercial juice review um, in the coming week. Um, so, but more of that later. In the meantime, let's just talk about this tank. Now, this tank, I really like it. It's compact. It shuts off the airflow as well as the juice flow. Um, it's got a lot of nice little features to it, and I really like its design. I like the fact that it has regular canthal coils instead of some nickel or titanium junk coils that they stuck in here to turn around and make it um, make it all fancy and everything else. It's got plain old canthal coils in here. However, and I hate to say this, because I really do like this tank. Um, this thing has a couple of issues. Um, one of the issues stems from one of the other issues. So, let's just get into that right off the bat. All right. Um, this thing runs hot. Now, if you're not chain vaping on this thing, which I've been known to do from time to time, it's not going to get that hot. It really isn't. However, if you do chain vape on it, it is going to get damned hot. Now, you remember I told you about these little babies, these little rubber grommet, th these little rubber washer things that fit over the top of the um, the tank? Well, that's because this thing runs hot. It's there. Those are there to protect your lips so you don't leave little bits of your lips permanently on the top of this tank. Now, some of you out there are probably saying, well, how hot does it get? Well, I am going to insert at this moment, right here, a picture which I took. And after I put the picture in, I'll explain to you exactly what it is. Cue the picture. Okay. You saw that? You saw what that meter said? 125 degrees Fahrenheit. And that thermal couple was not even fully squished to the tank with to make a really good thermal coupling with it. It, it it just wasn't making good thermal contact. Um, yeah, 125 degrees. Now I'm sorry. I've I've baked this little K fun for a clone. Um, I've baked the shit out of it. I've sat here watching a really good suspense movie, a really good drama movie on my on my TV, and I've been just sitting there going. <laughs> Chain vaping it. Oh, damn it. Stop. Oh, I hit 10 seconds. Okay. Let it go. Start vaping again. Yeah. Been there. Done that. Um, mm -mm. Not with this baby. I'm sorry. This baby, after about two or three, after about 30 seconds, this thing starts getting hot. And it's because of the ceramic coil that's inside. The ceramic coil, the ceramic, excuse me. Well, yeah, it is the ceramic coil. The coil itself is a nichrome coil. This is, the one I have in here right now is the 0.5. I changed this out. Um, the 0.5 ohm coil 
gets a little toasty. Okay? That gets the ceramic toasty. The ceramic gets warm. The e-liquid that is in contact with it starts to get warm and flows easily through the ceramic. And the ceramic is porous. Just break a Break a ceramic cup in your or a bowl in your in your uh, kitchen. You'll see how porous it is. It's it really is. That's the reason why almost all ceramics have glaze on them to seal the surface. That way you don't wind up putting something juicy like a nice watery soup, like a miso or a um, a chicken soup in there. Okay, and you have a puddle on the table. Yeah, that's the reason why they do a glass glaze. Well, this you can't do a glass glaze with because you're trying to get the wicking. You're trying to do the opposite of what a glass glaze is supposed to do. Um, you're trying to wick the juice that you've got in the tank. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. At 125 degrees, that is going to turn an 80 VG juice into damn near water. Okay, I've run this juice, excuse me, duh, I ran this tank with a 70 PG juice in here because I didn't know how well this thing was going to wick. Okay, based on previous tanks that I've had with, from CeraVapes, I wasn't sure, so I used the 70 VG. 70 VG was a little bit thick and but it wicked okay on all of their previous tanks. So I started with that and it leaked. And the lower the tank the level of the juice got, the more it leaked. The reason for that being there's less juice in there to act as a heat sink to take away the heat from the coil. So the juice that is in there just starts absorbing more and more heat, getting thinner and thinner. See where I'm going with this? An 80 VG juice will turn around and will get down to roughly the viscosity of maybe a 60 or a 70 juice when this thing starts to cooking. Now, to show you what I'm talking about, I'm going to insert another picture right here. Okay, you saw that? That was the, actually I showed you two pictures there. One was a picture of the juice coming out of the air holes on here. Another one was the juice on the bottom of the tank, on the bottom of my mod. Okay? Now, we're going to turn around, we're going to fill this baby up. I'm going to use some of the vape milk from uh, Paris, uh, which is going to be, oops, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be doing a review on this in the next couple of weeks. Uh, within the next week, probably. It's good. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Okay. Um, this is an 80 VG 20 PG juice. Oops. Come back here, you. Oh, well. Always waste a little bit of juice. Now. Three. Four. five. All right. We're just going to go with five eyedropper fulls, which is like about halfway full. All right. I'll close this up right like that. All right. All right. Airflow's wide open. I'm going to stick this on my e-leaf. I stick 100 firmware and hardware version one. I'll put that on there like that. Air holes wide open. Ready? 
there we go you can see the air bubble came up there okay now this is set for 31 watts let's bring this actually sorry uh, 20 watts let's bring this up to 35 watts 31 oops went past it duh okay 36 watts close enough there you go 36 watts 0.49 ohms 4.2 volts let's take a vape on this baby um hold on put that on okay white out and that was the first pull okay yeah it produces clouds it is an oh my god cloud producer now this is a god right on 80 20 juice unfortunately I don't have any max VG juices around here and I haven't made any juice in a while so um, I can't turn around I can't put in a max VG juice all right but you can see what I'm going with this Ooh, that flavor is nice flavor is gorgeous okay I can start to feel the tank getting a little bit warm it's not uncomfortably warm it's it's what you would expect for a sub ohm tank um, and as you can see this thing is this thing's wicking like a son of a gun All right, I would probably have to be wicking on this for about the next hour <clears throat> and probably go through another tank or two before this thing really does start to leak. And Well, maybe not. It's starting to get a little toasty on here now. But suffice to say, it does leak. Not all the time. Not all the time. And I want to make sure, I want to stress this. This thing does not leak all the time only when the juice gets to a point where its viscosity starts to break down and it gets to a point where it's like water in which case this thing is going to start it's going to start pissing all over you okay I, I'm just going to say it straight out here I don't know how to say I don't know how they're going to do this to to, to take care of this but this tank is thin stainless steel it's stainless steel but it's thin stainless steel so the stainless steel is easily transmitting the heat from the coil and the wicking ceramic wicking material to the juice which is necessary but not as much as it is okay I don't know how they're going to fix this. Um, I'm not an engineer. If I was, I'd be making a whole hell of a lot more money than what I'm making now. And I'd be living in a lot nicer set of digs than I am right now. And this looks nice here, but this is my little set. And no, you're not seeing what's on the other side of that. Mm -mm. No. Uh, yeah. This, this tank if you don't chain vape on it and I stress that if you don't chain vape on it this tank is a good tank it will serve you well it will give you wonderful flavor the flavor on this if coming from this Paris right now is absolutely phenomenal I mean 
it's spot on. It's it's actually tasting better than it's coming out of my K-Fun. Okay? And I really love the taste of it in this K-Fun. Um, the two issues I have with it are the heat and the heat-induced leaking. Oh, one little tip for you. When you want to shut this thing down, if you just go and click this close, you're going to develop a lot of pressure here in the top part of the tank, which is going to force the juice out through these air holes. So when you want to stop this thing, when you want to close this thing down, turn it upside down like this. So that way the air is there, all your juice flows back into the top part of the tank and you close that up like that. Okay? Now the juice is completely safely in the top part of the tank and it's away from the wick so therefore it won't wick and like run all over the place if you know depend upon what happens depend upon how long you you go between wicks and then when you want to do it you just turn around you pop it open and you can see the bubbles came up there all right that's because the juice is going in there now watch Yeah, white out. This thing, oops, sorry about that. This thing can chuck some nice clouds. Okay? Now I'm not a cloud I'm not a cloud chucker. I don't I'm not part of the cloud crowd, but I like a nice fully saturated cloud when I exhale because that gives me the full amount of flavor especially the way I do it I, I'm, I'm a low wattage person I'm a low temperature person um, when I exhale I get all of the f nuances of the flavor of the juice that I'm using and I get a f nice, rich, dense flavor, which is what I like. And this gives it to you. This will give you every little note that that juice is capable of giving you. So if you like flavor, and like I said, you can put up with the heat, and that's why they have these little rubber caps on there, and you can put up with the heat-induced um, leakage, then, well, there you go. Other than that, I if I was going out to buy a tank, I would be going out to buy this tank. Now, I have to apologize here to you, to Bonnie, to Sarah Vape, to Ben, who is the U.S. distributor, for taking so long to get this out. Um, I have had a, been having a lot of personal issues in my life, starting a new job and everything else. And unfortunately, I have not been able to get this out any sooner. I've also been having some technical issues here with my station. Um, and I've been trying to do some upgrades, as you can see here, with the the audio, the video, and just the general format of the station as well. So, my apologies for not getting this out any sooner. I hope that everybody understands that uh, this, what I'm saying here is completely my, I don't know how to say this. These are the, these are what I found by using this tank and I have been using this tank a lot. Okay, I, I've been using this thing now for three, almost four weeks straight. Because when I started noticing these issues, I wanted to make sure I had a good handle on these issues before I came here and said anything about them. Okay, there's a lot of other reviewers out there that I've noticed that have not mentioned the heating issues with this. I don't know why they haven't, but it's, I mean... I'm holding this right now and it's 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 toasty it's toasty 
My job as your reporter and as a reviewer is to tell you what I found with this and to tell you in a totally honest, forthright manner, irregardless of whether or not I get something from Sarah Vape ever again or not, or any, or any, any manufacturer, period. So, having said all of that, I can't say anything more. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, please do me a favor if you like, <clears throat> excuse me, if you like the new format, if you like the way the audio sounds or anything like that, if you have any comments on the way the audio sounds or anything like that, please let me know. Okay, I only have my ears and I've been playing around with this thing so much that and trying to get this thing to where I think the sound should be that I don't know anymore. Uh, please let me know what you think about this. Um, please let me know if you have any comments or any suggestions or anything like that. Please put them down in the box down there. If you're not a, sus a subscriber, mash the subscribe button. It's down there on that side or is it that side I forget um, yeah when I hit 101 subs I will be raffling off a Elif Limo 2 which I have sitting here uh, that I have not been using um, it's a good little tank I have not done a review on it uh, I don't think I will be doing a review on it but I will be raffling that off. I have used it. I have used it a lot, but it is absolutely clean. Uh, it is in mint condition. Uh, I will be putting a nice stainless steel coil on there, uh, probably a 0 0.5, point, somewhere between 0.4 and 0.6 ohm build. Uh, I will do it on camera. Um, I'll make a <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll do a whole separate video just on the drawing and put it up there. And only, only those people who are subscribed to my channel will turn around and will be entered into the drawing for this. Now, the reason why I, do, I specify 101 is because when I started this channel, the first... Um, subscriber I put on there was my personal subscription okay from my personal account and when I hit the hundred mark excuse me when I hit the 101 mark I will be removing that from here so that way there'll be only those people who are on the channel and who have subscribed to the channel since I start opened the channel up in September of last year and one of those lucky people will get this limo. So if you want to get a chance to get in on it, mash that subscribe button. If you like what you've seen, mash the like button on the other side. If you got any suggestions, please feel free to make comments in the comment section down below. I do read each and every one of the comments. I don't get too many of them, so I get a chance to read them, unlike some of the other big reviewers out there who if you're lucky, you might get a re get a comment back from them one or two lines in maybe a week or two, at if at best. Please, give me a shot. Give me give me your feedback as to what this sounds like. Okay, enough said. Thank you very much for joining me. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be ever at your back. And until next we meet, may God keep you in the hollow of His hand. Bye for now, folks.